Good morning everyone. My name is Shuji Zotani from Huntendo University. It is a great honor for me to have an opportunity presenting my experience in here Prince of Wales Hospital, Hong Kong. Today, I am talking about surgical imaging research in robotic partial nephrectomy, which is I am now working on. In this imaging research, we develop novel computational imaging technique with help of Fujifilm Corporation, and named it as Virtual PN Analysis. I've divided my presentation into two parts. In the first part, I will talk the reason why I am working with surgical imaging research as a urologist and the basics of surgical image research. In second part, I will show you our real clinical experiences of robotic partial nephrectomy with virtual planning. In this five years, I am very interesting and focused in urological imaging research. I am not radiologist. I have worked only as a urologist for 17 years. Why I have started surgical imaging research as a urologist? The answer is quite simple. I believe better image gives us better surgery experience. As shown here, usually urologic surgeries have good quality preoperative imaging, for example, urography, or CT, MRI. As a result, urology operation could begin with a clear objective and plan. The explorative operations were rarely performed in urology field. For diagnostic purpose the radiologists have many powerful tools and they helped us a lot. However, I think, using advanced imaging devices and proper computational tools, urologists are able to make our surgical imaging by ourselves. I believe it bring the urological surgery to next stage. Actually the kidney is one of the best organ to make the surgical planning. Because, renal CT imaging with contrast provides a quick, accurate renal vascular and urinary tract anatomical image. For example, with thin slice contrast CT, renal arterial branches can be identified to at least the segmental level. The reported limitation of detection of vessels is smaller than 2 mm so, 3D CT demonstrate the location of main renal arteries almost perfectly. These information improved the surgical confidence, surgical effectiveness and patient safety. Today's advanced high-speed imaging devices, such as 64 low multi-detector CT, contribute this surgical imaging. The slice thickness has become smaller and smaller, reduced to the ideal size. As shown here, today, we can use the CT data as the material to make the surgical planning and also surgical navigation. The development of imaging solution allows us to make it. In our hospital, we made the anatomical surgical planning for every patient before the robotic partial nephrectomy. Because Understanding intrarenal structures and evaluation of the renal volume are very important. We developed this imaging technique with Fujifilm Corporation and named as Virtual PN Analysis. This time, we compared surgical outcomes between virtual operation and actual operation to evaluate the feasibility and accuracy of virtual operation. This is the concept of our imaging analysis. Both surgical planning and functional analysis will be done before the real operation. With this analysis, we are able to get the clear, the objective and operative procedure before the operation, and share that information between the operation stuffs. This analysis was performed in following three steps. At first, we made precise segmented 3D renal image, which contains artery, vein, renal pelvis, ureter, and tumor cyst image from CT data. Second step is surgical planning, we call it virtual operation. In this step, we are able to determine the proper size of excision margin for each case. In second step, we also evaluate the blood supply by showing vascular supply territories. It is virtual arterial clapping. Final step, Volumetric analyses and estimation of post-operative renal function is performed. The strong point of this analysis is that, this is the virtual operation, basically non-invasive methods for the patients. So, 
we can try the virtual resection again and again to get the best planning result without the doing real operation. We've performed the virtual PN analysis with Fujifilm Synapse 3D software working in Sony laptop computer. Usually it takes an hour to determine the final operation planning. In first step, we made precise segmented 3D renal image. We extract the renal anatomical structures from multiple phase CT images to make it in one renal image. This imaging process is called as segmentation. For example, using of the arterial phase, the renal artery segmentation is performed. As same as renal artery, we segmented renal vein, collecting system, tumor, and cyst. Then, these segmented 3D images were combined together into one 3D image like this. So, we've got the precise 3D renal map to do the operation. Second step is very important steps, surgical planning. It consists of two parts, which is cut surface making and blood supply evaluation. At first, we determine the size of excision margin of the tumor using imaging software. In this step, we are able to cut the virtual kidney with any margin setting and cutting angle. We can see though the opaque resection margin to observe the cut surface. If collecting system does appear on the cut surface, we consider it as the opening the collecting system. We are also able to see the arterial involvement to the cut surface. These are very important information to plan the margin size avoiding both of surgical complication and positive margin. The virtual PN analysis are able to show the vascular supply territories with selected arterial branch. In this figure, virtual ischemia is carried out at the points of each black arrow on the renal artery branch, and the ischemic area was shown in the different color-coded areas in 3D model. With this method, we are able to identify the suitable clapping point for selective clapping. In this case, with this result, we performed the selective clapping at these two targeted points of renal artery in real operation. Final step is volumetric analysis and estimation of post-operative renal function. From renal volume change, we conducted the estimation of post-operative renal function. The predicted post-operative EGFR was defined as preoperative EGFR multiplication percent RCV preservation. For the evaluation of our method, the surgical outcomes between virtual PN and real operation were compared. We have 20 RAPN patients with this imaging analysis at Giantendo University Hospital patients. The patient background is shown in the table. The time needed for completing surgical planning were 63 minutes. Surgical outcome were relatively good. Without any complications, no margin positive, did not require blood transfusion. Eight patients were underwent with selective clapping with successfully within 10 patients were proposed selective clapping from virtual PN. Plan resection volume was significant correlated with actual resected specimen volume. The sensitivity and specificity in prediction for selective clapping with our imaging method was 100% and 77% respectively. And for prediction of opening collecting system, sensitivity and specificity was 85.7% and 100%. The predicted EGFR which was calculated from CT volume try was significant correlated with actual post-operative EGFR value. Even with the limitation of small volume of the study, virtual PN analysis allowed us to executing anatomic PN and to predict the surgical outcomes without performing the real operation. Now we are using this preoperative planning image as an image guidance for robotic surgeon by putting our image into the surgeon console through the Tile Pro. In this case, Tumor was located in renal hilum, surrounding by the renal artery and renal pelvis. As you can see in the video, the renal structures were presented just like colored 3D model presenting through the Tile Pro display in surgeon console. Before the operation, we plan to dissect the tumor as thin or margin as we can, just next to tumor capsule, to prevent theopending collecting system and unnecessary bleeding. In real operation, 
Our operation plan was carried out successfully with this image guidance. As I talked before, I believe better image gives us better surgery experience. We will keep on practicing more cases in this field and make the surgery more safer and more accurate procedure.